They're an unlikely pair, the two of them. One, a 26-year-old Egyptian fighter. The other, a nine-year-old boy. How do you feel since we started boxing together? Really good. I feel so good. Yeah? Do you feel more confident? Yeah, and I feel like, I, like, like a new person. I feel good. Yeah, a new person. Oh Ethan Shaw considers Hattie Go name his best friend and Go name his. An unlikely friendship born out of Shaw's desire to gain confidence and protect himself from bullies. But this friendship is now in jeopardy as Go Name makes one last ditch effort to stay in Canada. Go Name arrived in St. John's in May 2017 on a study permit. He was immediately struck by the beauty of the place. The weather was really nice. I went to Signal Hill. It was, uh, it was really beautiful and sunny. I was taken back. I was mesmerized by the beauty here and the people too. You know, everyone is smiling. Everyone is like, what are you at? You know, so. He attended Memorial University for a year and a half, but after he and his family in Egypt fell on tough financial times, Gonaim said he abandoned his studies. He later returned, but it was too late. By leaving school, he violated the rules. In February, the federal government refused his application for an extension to his study permit. The immigration process is, is, is not a forgiving one. And so that is, you know, something that people should always keep in mind. You know, a problem like Megan Felt is handling Go Name's case. The option that we have chosen to proceed with is called an agency application or humanitarian and compassionate application, whereby, um, you know, if we can con basically convince the government that he's been established here for a long time, he has a there's significant benefit culturally um, or otherwise to keeping him here, um, that uh, we could feasibly get him permanent residency. There is a high refusal rate, but Go Name says he is a Newfoundlander. The MMA and Muay Thai fighter represented the province at four national competitions, claiming five medals for the province. He was invited to join Team Canada. Ever since I came here, I've always been grateful and uh, tried to give back and show my gratitude. And uh, I remember my first competition, my first nationals. I took my Egyptian flag and I also back packed my Newfoundland flag with me, you know, and uh, when I won on the podium, I, I stood up with both flags, you know, because basically this is what I represent now, you know. Both he and his lawyer hope the federal government considers his athletic accomplishments to be an asset to the country. But for now, he's in limbo, volunteering his time, training others. Without his student visa, Go Name doesn't have MCP, he can't work, and if he leaves the country to see his family back home, he won't be let back in. I'm not looking for any money or any grants or anything like that. I, you know, I work really hard and uh, I'm just looking for someone to be able to push through my papers and get, get my case done for me. That's all I'm looking for so I can go to competition, go to nationals with my team, go visit my family, have MCP, you know, basic, basic rights. Good job, buddy. Suzanne Hearn has seen a transformation in her son since Go Name took Ethan under his wing. She fears her son will soon lose the only male role model he has. I've never seen a relationship built like his and Ethan's. I'm going to be really upset, but more importantly, I don't know how Ethan is going to take it. A really great guy. He makes me happy and stuff. And, uh, and I love you, Hattie. I love you too, buddy. I love you. Thank you. Ariana Kelland, CBC News, St. John's.